Let me make it clear in the beginning. I preach to you because my conscience leaves me with no other choice. The time has come for America to hear the truth, even if only from a single voice. He who lives with untruth lives a spiritual slave. And you shall know the truth, said Jesus, and the truth shall make you brave. Yes, the truth will set you free. And I've chosen to preach and to poet because I agree that the hottest places in hell are reserved for those who in a period of moral crisis maintain their neutrality. There comes a time when silence becomes betrayal. The truth of these words is beyond doubt, but the human spirit can't move without great difficulty against all the apathy in the surrounding world, yet we must move on. And some of us have already begun to break the silence of the night. As I've walked among the desperate, the rejected, the angry young children, I told them that problems cannot be solved with a weapon. I've tried to offer them my deepest compassion and maintain my conviction and change through nonviolent action. I think of them too because it's clear to me that no solution can come perfectly until some attempt is really made to know these people meaningfully, to hear their broken cries. Love is somehow the key that unlocks the door to ultimate reality. Let us love one another, for God is love embodied perfectly. And all people are created equally. Heirs to a legacy of dignity and worth out of one blood, God made all the people to dwell upon the face of the earth. And I know it isn't easy to stand up for truth and for justice. Sometimes it means that you will walk the street with a burdened and a broken heart. But before the crown we can wear, there is a cross that we must bear. So let us bear it, bear it for justice. Bear it for truth. Bear it for peace. Let us go out this evening with that determination and have not lost faith. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, We'll be able to speed up the day when justice will roll down like waters and righteousness like that mighty stream with this faith. Every person will be under their vine and their fig tree and none shall be afraid because the Lord has spoken and it will be. With this faith we'll be able to bring forth that moment when all over the world citizens of freedom will be able to join hands and sing free at last free at last thank god almighty we are free at last when child of god will not rise up against child of God, when neighborhood will not rise up against neighborhood, and neither shall they study war no more. Then, rather than silence in the night, we can have the sound of all of our voices raised together in one justice-dedicated, peace-filled, and un relenting fight. <laughs>